Oh my gosh. We had no sound this whole time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Microphone on. Can't hear anything. Thank you, Bacon. Thank you, Barbara. Oh man. Uh, I didn't know that sound was in there. Ah, I should have checked and instead I got caught up into it. And uh, and so so let's jump in into what I was talking about. I was breaking down all the little elements that we're working on for this video game. So I have a game here, and uh, and then um, uh, let me go ahead and switch that back on. Boom! Here we go. So I've been working on a video game. We, if you pay attention to some of the live streams uh, in the past for the Vector Masters channel, you'll see that um, this is episode four. So in every different uh, or part. Part number four. In every different part, we cover, we've cover. we been covering the planning of the game, the sketching of the elements, and now we're get, finishing the sketches in Adobe Fresco and moving into Adobe Illustrator. I have a list of things that I've been working on, including uh, how to pick up a currency, which are the pencils. What are some of the things that the character is going to be doing? What are some of the things that are going to cause damage to the character, which is the nominator, the gorilla? And then, what are the uh, saving points look like? What is going to be the elements in the area when the saving points are there? And then finally, how does the character uh, pick up energy? Right. So we have all these different things here, along with some elements that I haven't thought all the way through, like where they're going to fit, what they're going to do, but they're here. And then everything is trying. I'm trying to keep everything in proportion to the character. So there's the character right here in the same file as my artwork and but what I'm gonna do uh, next uh, part and that's gonna be in a couple weeks <clears throat> is going to be the uh, 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 scene I'm gonna set up the scene and the um, artboard the let's call, call it the storyboard it's gonna go through the storyboard so that we can have a um, <clears throat> Uh, composition of the background the characters and the elements all fitting into the area of the game right so the area of the game is only so big in within the screen and so we have to make sure that everything fits in those uh, all the elements fit in that frame in that our storyboard in that game frame and they look right so don't feel like you have to stick with this uh, measurements if it, it has to change later so there we go all right okay I think we're on on point now and uh, let's move on and uh, yeah. <laughs> let's move on to what do we do after we start with uh, um, uh, and I'll check in the messages and make sure that yeah I missed the earlier messages about the sound let's what do we so now what do we do is what we're going to um, move from Adobe Fresco to Adobe Illustrator and the easiest way to do that, I have my Adobe Illustrator desktop open on my desktop where, where I'm pointing at right now. And I don't want to work on Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. What I want to do is uh, export from Fresco to the, to the desktop with Illustrator so I can start doing the vector process. And that's what I want to share with you today. Just a quick little breakdown on what we're doing. Aha, I can hear you. Thank you, Barbara. Ah, we worked it out. And Penny in the house, what's up, what's up? So let's go ahead and click on the top right corner where it says, uh, has our publish and export icon. And click on open a copy. And from there, I'm going to select Adobe Illustrator on the desktop. If I click on the Illustrator on the iPad, it's going to pop open right here on this iPad. And I don't want it to, I don't want to work in this iPad. Unless I'm in the couch. If I'm in the couch, then I'm <clears throat> kicking back and, you know, tap, tap, tap. Uh, but I want to work on the desktop, so let's go ahead and click on the desktop and give it a minute. And that was kind of fast. It kind of just moved through. And uh, let's go ahead and turn off the iPad and uh, wait for, wait for it, wait for it, the Adobe Illustrator on the desktop. And the way it works is that it goes through the Creative Cloud. So there is a Creative Cloud document. Oh, there it goes. I got the notification that it just sent. I finished sending, uh, but basically it, it works through the Creative Cloud, right? All the files that are saved on my iPad in Fresco are saved to the Creative Cloud, and from there, uh, the Creative Cloud can communicate to Illustrator wherever I'm logged in, and I'm logged in, and here it goes popping in, right? I'm telling the story, and as as and I'm waiting long enough for this to pop in, and there it goes. So boom, convert layers to objects, and click OK, ready in the image. 
And there we go. So just like that, every layer that I had available on the um, <clears throat> iPad in on Adobe Fresco is right here on Adobe Illustrator. And so what I'm going to do really quick, let's go ahead and go here like this. Let me grab that background, get rid of that. I'm just going to organize really fast what we got to do here. Select everything. Go ahead, bring it into one layer, and this is called sketches. Boom, just like that. Just lock the out. Let's select that whole layer. Go ahead and turn down opacity. Got it. Uh huh. And lock it. Boom. So there it is. There's everything. That's all our stuff. This is all our, our, our work that we were talking about. Yeah, that's right. Boom. Okay, so now. What I want to do in the layers, I'm going to create a new layer, and that's going to be our first layer that we work with. As a matter of fact, let's just stick it right there. Bam. And so what are we going to work on first? Let's work on the pencil, all right? And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to keep it very simple. Look, boom. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the um, rectangle tool. There it is. And just go like that. Bam. Uh, as I start the vector process for this um these different elements i'm not necessarily interested in making sure everything is a proportion like the uh, brush stroke or the stroke and uh and stuff I, what i do is i want to make sure it's in proportion to itself and then i can play around with the design and uh, so i'm going to show you how so here we go we got uh let's get a color out there it is and let's just give it any color just any color as a matter of fact let's make it a yellow there you go oh yeah that's good all right, and so there's our rectangle. Uh, let's get the pen tool because I want to give it a boom, an anchor point here. Let's select this piece and this piece, hold shift, and then click and drag across your anchor point and then move it up. Oh, yeah, there goes the pencil. Next, we're going to get a rectangle tool, and there goes the... Um, the part of the pencil where the, uh, and I should have had some pencils here, but you know, it's all right. I know what a pencil looks like. Let me see if I have one right there. No, uh, no, no pencil. Ah, uh, well, let me see. <clears throat> you know what? I do have a pencil, but it doesn't have an eraser, so it doesn't have that little cap on. But there you go. That's what that little thing is right there. As a matter of fact, I need to have another rectangle right there over that. Boom. Let's make that rectangle. What's it gonna be? Pink, yeah, let's make it pink. And let's look at our layers. Let's organize our layers. Let's put this pink down here in the middle. And then uh, at the top, we're gonna make this uh, gray. Uh-huh, yes, yes, that's right. There goes the pencil! <laughs> All right, so now uh, what I wanna do, let's take a look, let's zoom in right now. Uh-huh, so I see a little bit of difference in some of these anchor points right there. Uh-huh, so what I want to do is uh, select this pink and make sure it matches. There we go. Uh, from here, I want to add a, a rectangle, a triangle right here in the corner of the pencil. So what I'm going to do, just get the pencil, tap, 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 and let's go like this. Tap, right? Uh, click and drag and then tap. So now we're going to make that a little darker. Yeah, let's make it blue. I like it blue. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And then finally, one more um, a color needs to be here, and that's the color of the pencil. Uh, so let's go back into our layers, and let's duplicate that original layer or the original shape. There it goes. And uh, we're going to make that really yellow like that. Go ahead and get that eraser and just go like this. Boom. Oh my gosh. And then get rid of this bottom part. And there we go. Okay, let's make that yellower. Or maybe there you go. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, let's make this browner. Uh huh. So one of these got to be dark and one of these got to be light. Let's go like that. Here you go. Yes, yes, okay, so now I think that this could be higher. There you go, just move the, the um, arrows and let's select everything um, <clears throat> with our um, selection tool and make sure it's all centered, let's see. 
align. Let me see if it's gonna change anything. There we go, nice and centered. I like it. <clears throat> what I want to do next is uh is uh, curve everything out. Let's give it a curve. There you go. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's good. Okay, okay. I like that. Pencil with personality. <laughs> Hello, Siva. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. If you uh, want to go check it out on uh, Instagram, we got Vin. My man, Vin. What's up, Vin? It's been a long time, bro. I think about you all the time. I hope you're doing well. Ah, this deserved a, a, a sip of coffee right there. Okay, so now I have my pencil, right? So... Now I can move on to other parts, right? So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate that layer 16 and go uh, by clicking on the Alt key, clicking and dragging, and boom, I have a duplicate it. I'm going to select that whole layer and uh, go into my stroke. Boom, there it is. And let's make it like a reddish. So it's not a solid black. Okay, that's all right. I like it. And then we're going to take off all the color. All the colors are going to be gone out oh no no yes it's cool it's cool it's all right i don't like it i don't want to i don't want it to go down like that but that's how it's going to be for now uh because i can always adjust all of these things and that and so let's double check yep that layer is locked so let's go like this see turn off the color and we have our outline layer and it's not necessary to do go about it the way i'm doing it but it works out fine for me and uh, let me go ahead and uh, select some of these layers. You know what? We're going to go ahead and change the color of this layer so I can see. Green, there you go. Okay. You're welcome, uh, Ven. All right. So let's see this. See, select that um, anchor point. Select the next anchor point and then move it up. There we go. Now let's see what's here. Here we have this anchor point right there and this anchor point right there. Delete that one on the top. Delete that one on the top. And then grab that anchor point by clicking on it. Hold shift. Click on the other anchor point and use your arrows to bring it down. There you go. As a matter of fact, I could have deleted those two because this is the line that we want to keep anyway. And now let's grab this one. Delete that. Oops, no, delete it. And grab that anchor point. Uh-huh. No, not that one. This one. Boom. Delete it. And I could have built this better, uh, easier, um, but I wanted to just use shapes. And there it is. There's our pencil. Now let's turn on our color and duplicate that color version. Lock this one. Duplicate our color version. There it goes. And this new color version is going to have a thicker outline. And it's going to be a two. Boom. And you see now, I got the thick outline only on the outside. And I can turn it off and on and if I want to. See that? Look at that. Yes. Now let's start saving. We need to save. Save as. I want to save it to the cloud. And it's going to be inside the art life, the game rebel folder. Art elements vector. We're going to call it vector. Oop, with the big B. Vector. Nice. And click on save. And there it goes. Now it's saved to the cloud. So if I want to work on my iPad, I can work on my iPad. Or I can even work on the web. All is well. DTM says, Evan, thank you, bro. Thank you. Good to hear from you. Good to see you, bro. All right. So we have, um, there's the outline. There's the color. And there's the, the first outline. So lock all of these. And then the new, so this is going to be a uh, color. Uh, stroke thick, wide, let's go with wide, uh, it doesn't matter at all, and then stroke light, does that say stroke, I don't know what it says, okay, color, let's go plus, and now in this new layer that I just created, let's make some few more shapes, there we go, I don't want that, but what I do want is turn off the outline, now we're going to use the color, and let's go like that. Very light. Yes. Yes. All right. Look at that. Mm, I like it. Okay. Okay. Another, another color. Let's throw it in another color. Let's see. Should we do the color color? I'm trying to think. Uh, I probably what I want to do. Let's take it back. Let's put that new gray color in here. 
all right so this is all the flat colors and then here we're gonna do some highlights and shadows so let's do some shadows shadow there we go let's go with the shadows first and I'm gonna use that red color where is it let's go here use the um, uh, color picker and boom change it out got it in my layers I'm gonna select that layer this is why I like illustrator on the desktop because there's a lot more control in the layer so select that layer go into your transparency we're gonna change the uh, um, blend mode to multiply and opacity down to like 36 okay fine it stayed at 36 good so now let's go ahead and grab another shape and let's go like this right so I got that let's get our pen tool uh -huh, added there uh, let's move our anchor point right here let's get our uh, anchor point um, tool thingy okay there it is uh, uh, yes na 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 make him say uh all right i like this it's just like i'm just moving right through it right here you go mm. oh yeah let's go like that and then like this come on I'm, oh, I'm hitting the wrong button there we go boom okay i don't want that it's too 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 long there we go nice and tight nice and tight Last. yes sir okay let's grab one more and go like this right here i like it i like it I like it. All right, let's go like that. And then one more, one more. I need a alt, click, drag. Here we go, like that right there. Uh huh. Sure. Let's move it down. I'm just, I'm trying to get fancy now, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't try to get so fancy with it. But that's good. So now I have shadows, right? So this is our shadows. Good. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is move on into our highlights. And let's just call it highs. Same process. So, let's go like this. But now, we're going to change the color to white. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. Let's go right there. Then, let's go right here. Oops. Come on. Let's undo that because that didn't work out. And I'm just using the mouse. Nothing special here. You don't need to do anything with your life. Just uh, use your mouse. And that did not come out the way I wanted to. So we'll make a new one. Let's go like this. There you go. And oh, I didn't do shadows on the bottom. You guys didn't tell me. Let's go right there. Uh, and then right here. Look, these are all shapes, right? So what I do, I just grab the direct selection tool and uh, start adjusting these. These, these uh, rectangles. Because we don't want a rectangle. We want... Some some of these gonna have curves, some different elements around them. All right, come on, here we go. Uh, so let's go right there. Let's grab this piece and go right here. I could have just used the pencil, the pen tool, but it's all right. There you go. As a matter of fact, let's uh, move that over. Boom. Here we go. Oh, there's a piece missing right here. Uh huh. And then and let's uh, let's use the pen tool. It might be easier. For some things, there we go, like this. Uh huh, I like it. Yes. Now these pieces, what I want to do with these uh, three pieces here, I want to select them because I'm going to give them some curves. So select. Um, where was my uh, pathfinder? There it goes. Make it a solid piece. Then I'm going to grab this corner. Oops, no, 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 not like that. Let's go this corner, shift, this corner, shift, and then this two corner shift. Let's see. There you go. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab that. There it is. Oh, no, not that way. Not that way. Let's zoom in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I want uh, only this corner. Oh, yes. I found this artist. Oh my gosh, they make the most amazing art. You know what? I do want it like that. I do want that. They make the most amazing art and uh, with just uh, shapes. Oh my, the character art. Uh, next time I'm live, I'm going to show it to you. So let's do the same up here in the top. Because I kind of want to have a, a little highlight right there. You see that? Select those two. Pathfinder tool. Where'd you go? Oh, I miss. Uh, that's why I wear glasses. Because I can't see certain things sometimes. There we go. Boom. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go like that. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so now I select that layer. The highs go through our transparency. Just leave the normal. I could, it could, it could be normal or it can be screen, and then turn down the opacity again to some, some. There you go. Let's go forty. Let's go forty. How does forty look? Forty looks good. I'm gonna do forty on the other layer also. That way it's consistent, and I know that if I change something, then I wanna, uh, uh, that I didn't. I wanna go through everything else. So what I wanna do here, I didn't do that. The circles, I've missed it in the shadows shadow so let's go here so so let's grab these pieces yeah all of these and um pathfinder boom and then let's select the corners yeah i don't know how i missed that uh-huh ah, i missed the, the shadow on the <clears throat> on the uh there we go let's get that boom there it is that's right that's right, and then we need some shadows down here. Pen tool. Let's go like this. There you go. Look at that. Uh, uh, yes. This is why I like it. Uh, the shadows got intense real quick. That's right, Penny. <laughs> and you know, um, you kind of want uh, that working Illustrator on the desktop because of the control of the layers. I already told Illustrator. Uh, developers to please 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 make the layer control on the iPad the same way as it is on the desktop but you know they're gonna do whatever is on the list so there it is that's good that's kind of okay you know I feel like maybe that's too big that's too much so I can still adjust it if I want to select uh, the direct selection and then bring that in uh, maybe bring all of this in let's go like that Huh, let's go like this. Interesting. Oh, that went too far. Okay, so how do we... This is separate, so let's, let's lock that layer. That's why we have our, our shapes and layers. There you go. Boom. See that? Uh-huh. Lock that. Got it. Then go like this. Uh, let's go select all this side. Uh-huh. Have you played around with generative recolor on desktop? I have a penny. I'm not quite satisfied, but only because... Uh, my limitations with color so I'm pretty sure that if I spend more time with it I'll get better at it that's what I need I just need more time with it that's all so I'm just fixing this stuff up right here there you go got it and there it is that's it so I feel like the the dark is too dark so let's do this let's select the highs and the shadows and then we're gonna go into our opacity and make it a 30 enter and there we go. Uh-huh. And see, look, now it looks like, yeah, that could be a pencil. Oh, and, a, and the highlights are hard to see on the yellow, but that thing, that's okay. What if the yellow was more orange? Uh, lock those two. There's the color. Yeah, that's the, that's the, yeah, that's the color. This one should only be outlined. So let's get rid of that color on that. So that way we're not confused. There we go. There's the color. And let's select this yellow and make it a little bit. Um, there we go. There we go. Now we can see uh, a difference in the highlight and stuff. Uh, I don't like that shadow on the eraser. And uh, so I'm going to fix it. Let's fix it a little bit. Move it over. There you go. Yeah, maybe even to, even to that spot right there. A little consistency. That looks better. Yeah, yeah. Now the last thing we're going to do for today, let's grab our layers. Unlock all these different layers that it took to make the pencil. Add, create a new layer. That's going to be currency. Currency, pencil. And then we're going to grab the all these layers and drag them into currency, the pencil. And there it is. We got our first element, our first art element here ready to go in this designed for a game oh my gosh look at that save it and there it is if you got any questions comments and suggestions please leave it in the chat let me know what you think about it and uh or send me a message let me know what you're working on 
Check out Vector Maestros for more in real life events that we're uh, scheduling now for the summer in here in Atlanta or get with me and we can do a virtual drawing session if you got something that you want to work on. Penny Doodles dropping the pencil in the chat. That's right. <laughs> Appreciate all of you hanging out with me. Uh, Van FM FM Elihi and uh, Chris Lee on Instagram. Penny Barbara Siva and uh, Bacon Bits in the chat on uh, Behance and of course Triple H hanging out with me in the Discord. I am DTM Delta Tango Mike and I will see you soon. Stay tuned next week for Back on the Beer Brand Designs on Monday 10 a.m. I will be going over some new things with the Beer Brand Designs and then on Tuesday at 4 p.m. I will be it will be the Beer Brand Designs is going to be part of Adobe Live where I break down everything that we've been doing so far and what to look forward to. I am DTM Delta Tango Mike and I will catch you on the flip side. You're very welcome. Thank you, everybody. Peace out.